Welcome to Voya Global Perspectives. With Independence Day behind us, the U.S. economy is showing its independence from the Federal Reserve. The economy is growing at a much faster clip than the Fed anticipated only six months ago, so strongly that Fed Chair Janet Yellen will be compelled to wrap up quantitative easing, raise interest rates, and restore freedom to the markets. This is good for the economy with growth higher, but bad for the market as volatility moves higher too. Don't get our message wrong. We have been and continue to be optimistic on U.S. and global market prospects. But current trends warrant renewed vigilance on risks, which we believe are not fully discounted. The primary risk we see is the Fed's unwinding of its zero interest rate policy. Easy money has created a cluster of bets around shorting volatility, and that is selling volatility expecting profit by risk remaining low. Such shorting of volatility was one of the excesses that led to the great financial crisis. July's end-of-month volatility probably was a shot across the bow before the real move to, to independence from the Fed. A pullback is likely and will be very hard to time. Investors should prepare to ride through the impending volatility. The knee-jerk reaction to volatile markets has been to go to cash, gold, and defensive assets. In our view, this is an enormous mistake. We believe the correct move is to buy equity and fixed income risk assets. By far the biggest mistake investors are making is in bonds, letting unwarranted aversion to inflation risk prevent them from protecting their portfolios and achieving better returns. Another mistake is the lack of broad diversification among equities. Equity markets ultimately follow the fundamentals, and during the volatility we foresee, bonds will make that ride smoother. Fed Chair Yellen is leading us back to normal, bringing independence to the economy and markets is ultimately a positive, and I'll put my John Hancock on that. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.